welcome. You stand amidst the circle. Chimera's waiting for you inside. If the dragon's circling overhead spots us, they'll find If there is more to this ancient temple, I do not. This is the right place. I can sense it. And Riddlethar knows I have tried everything I can think of. I held it out. I presented it forcefully. I even. Sh My memories and the Kunzari stories. Everything jumbles together. When a Nequina's blood calls, the shadow dance begins. Beautiful. Why was this? See what you can make of it.
part of Kunzari's Krajun. Why are you doing this? I want what Kunzari hid away, and I need to move the moons to reach it. If a few cats must die along the way, what of it? You're... you're insane. You talk to your new god like that. It's almost a shame how Inequitous Faithful keep throwing themselves at my blade. Almost. Let us talk before we confront the betrayer. The ancient memories become clearer in my mind with every passing moment. We follow the same path as the heroes of legend. I see the truth of the myths and legends. Kunzari tricked Kalkrontid into storing the might of the dragons in Jode's core. Yes, he murdered Kunzari and then came to this temple to gain the power to move the moons and open the way to Jode's core. You see, the path only appears at the moon gate of Anequina when the moons are aligned, as in an eclipse. True, but many died before they lopped off his head. The betrayer was the greatest warrior of his day. If it comes to a battle, it will not be an easy one. We are about to enter the place where the Betrayer faced his greatest failure. Where the shade of Anequina darkens with rage whenever I think about him. Even before his betrayal, she detested the man. He was vain, proud. <laughs>
The betrayer did something to the apparatus. The moons cannot hear my plea. No. The betrayer has set the moons in motion, and they will not answer to my song. Not yet. This apparatus moves the moons, but the moon gate of Anequina creates the portal to Jode's core. Anequina's memories show me how she once used a dragon horn. The combat dragon horn you gave me. It needs to be energized. Harness refreshing plaza and I hit the fig tree. Now, where's the evil me? Where is the fiend? Let me at him. I returned as soon as I could to help you give the betrayer a good threat. I feel tip top, I must say. I thought it was the cozy confines of my beloved Cold Harbor, but I suppose it has more to do with the destruction of my other half. Well, good show. The world is saved. That doesn't sound good. Let me think. Mm. I'm afraid not, at least not from here. He did something to the apparatus. It can't be used again. Kamira might be able to separate the moons, but she'd need to do it at the moon gate. I am all right. Cadwell, can we use your portal to return to Riman? Of course, Kamira. It's ready. The eclipse approaches, and with it the opening of the Moon Gate of Anequina. Garesh Ri has already gone to the Moon Gate of Anequina to take charge of the forces there. We will join him shortly. We stop the betrayer, but not before he set the moons in motion. Some, but not a lot. Luckily, we anticipated the connection to the Moon Gate and sent Garesh Ri ahead with whatever forces we could spare. The combat Dragonhorn is charged, but we still do not know its full capabilities. We must not waste its energy, so we will save it until absolutely necessary. Our companions left the palace to wander Riman and consider what is to come. Find Abner Tarn, Zamarak, and Prefect Kalo. Cadwell too, if he is still around. I can only tell you what I experienced. I became one with the temple, with all its memories and past experiences. I, I underwent the process of attunement, the same as Anequina and the moon priests of the temple, the same as Cadwell. I know how to make the moons move, provided we find a working lunar lattice apparatus. Some of the stories about Anequina speak of her teleporting from place to place. I see something about portals. But it does not make much sense. Perhaps the ancient structure rises out of the jungle far to the southwest. Quiet moments to meditate have been rare since Zamarak returned to elsewhere. This one needed some time alone, especially after helping Tharn with the dragon at the Shadow Dance ruins. Zamarak suspected that would be our next destination, 
This one noticed that the moons have shifted in the sky, moving in a way that breaks their usual pattern. Then we still have a chance. Zamarak has pledged his honor to Queen Kamira. Queen Kamira, attuned to the lunar lattice. About what you would expect. Tharn used flashy spells to confuse the dragon until it finally gave up and flew away. Then, we encountered the squad of Uraxians led by a necromancer. You exposed the magistrate in Bergama. Thank you for seeing justice was served. Shores, bones, a rigged noon. Hmm. Come to partake in a before the battle cleansing. I find it prudent to make myself pristine prior to the start of a slaughter. In my experience, the subsequent blood and gore adheres much better to a well laundered body. The Moongate. I hope to wash away the memories of the betrayer, but some stenches can't be removed with soap and water. But before I became the gallantly gaunt soul shriven form you see today, I was the betrayer. I originally. Yes, of course, that was my plan all along. Makeup. As nice as these facilities are, I miss the boiling plasm pools of Cold Harbor. Hot enough to melt. And your point is? Wine used to rejuvenate me after periods of intense exertion and spell casting. Now I can barely taste the stuff. A good thing too. Kajiti wine is cloyingly sweet, like drink the Moongate. A noble but futile proposition, I fear. No, no. Just pondering other options. Too much of what we're facing was the inadvertent result of my actions or the actions of my family. Dragons, Uraxians, necromancers. The responsibility falls to me, and balance must be restored. Would you stand a chance otherwise? By the way, I believe I understand the purpose of the Dragonhorn. After much consideration, the use and function of the ancient instrument has become clear. Theoretical knowledge isn't the same as practical experience, but I believe I understand the fundamentals of its operation. Oh yes, I'm fairly certain of that. And I found historical references indicating the Dragon Guard gifted such relics to key locations. For the we have neither the time nor resources to move the large relic, but the small horn you brought back, it's called a combat horn, by the way, was designed to be carried into battle. Once charged with energy, its sound weakens dragons. One problem solved then. The next is sheer age.
the Rimmin. The quiet moments between battles. I like to spend the time catching up on my reading. Hissed. I've been waiting for the order to move out. I sent most of the Cygnus Irregulars on ahead with Garish Ri, but a small contingent remained here in case our earlier guess was wrong. I assume events in the ruins confirmed our theory? Understood. We need to defend the Moon Gate and stop the dragons from using it when it opens. Keep them from reaching Jode's core. Well, Queen Euraxia's tyranny made the Khajiit wary. I don't blame them for that. I just want to show them that not all Imperials are tyrants, that they can trust at least a few of us. It will come.
eclipse is an eerie sight, but where are the dragons? The moons come together and the sky grows dark. Ominous, isn't it? And strangely beautiful. Where are the dragons, though? And the remaining Euraxians? As ready as we can be. The Kashidi militia and the Cygnus Irregulars have taken defensive positions along the path up to the Moongate. And we're not a chance. We only hope to slow them enough to give Tharn and Kamira the time they need to stop the Moongate from opening. Or find a way to shut it if all else fails. If the dragons don't reach Jode's core, we win. Wait. What's that noise? Dragons! Go join Queen Kamira. I'll take charge down here. yourself. We need to deal with that breach. Enjoy cutting blackguards down to size. Me old master. Daresh Ri still breathes, but his injuries are serious. With Garish Ri injured, someone else must take command of this position. Yes, my friend. This is Zamarak's chance to finally atone for his past mistakes. Wait, what is this? The Dragonhorn. Go. Now,
how the moons align with the ancient gate. The lattice opens a path to Jode's core. But how did you get the dragon horn? Where's Garishri? And why are the sounds of battle so close? Garishri? Hurt? And the Euraxians behind our defenses? This is not good. Not good at all. Well, we still have the dragon horn. At least until the power runs out or the fragile relic falls apart. Ah, I just wish the moons would move for me. The power, yes. But not the knowledge and experience. I will continue to try to move the moons and close the gate. We stand on the sacred plain of Jod. From the memories I absorbed at the Shadow Dance Temple, Anequina and the Moon Priests came here to honor the moons and set them on their way after their sacred joining. Here, on the plain of Jod, the memories become clearer with every passing moment. Kunzari was able to use Calgrontid's own greed against him. The dragon sought the power of Jode's core from the beginning, but Kunzari offered him even more. He offered a way to combine the natural power of Jode's core with the mystic might of his loyal dragons. Calgrontid's greed was his undoing. 